Hi, this is Richard Quack here. Welcome to another session of my video. In today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, are you a good receiver? All right. Now, being grateful is a state of being. All right. It is a state of being and it is a matter of choice. Okay. You can choose to have this state of being. That means to be grateful. All right. Now, what emotion do you have when you are grateful? When you're grateful, what sort of emotion do you have? Can you be in anger or can you be in depression mode or whatever it is? All right. No, when you are grateful, you feel good. All right. So that is why being grateful is very, very important. Okay. Now, being grateful is so important. Let's look at the secret. All right. Now, I'm sure you are aware that the secret, a lot of people watch the movie, The Secret, and also read the book, The Secret. Now, more than 200 of more than 200 million people watch the movie The Secret. But ask yourself, out of the 200 over million who watch the movie, how many people become successful? All right. Now, that is why people say there is a certain ingredient missing from The Secret. All right. But I believe one of the most important ingredient is taking action. All right. Taking action is so important. A lot of people, they visualize, you know, uh, they think about it. Uh, they imagine, but uh, you know, they don't take action, nothing is going to happen. But I believe that another ingredient that is not talked much about is gratitude. All right, it's about gratitude. I know in the movie they talk about gratitude and the gratitude rock and so on, but the main focus of it is that you must be grateful. All right, and being grateful is a matter of choice. All right, it's a matter of choice. Now, Things in your life now, let's have a look. The things in your life now, are there a lot of things that you can be grateful about? I'm sure there's so many things you can be grateful about, all right? But sometimes, or most of the time, we focus on the things that we don't want. And we become depressed, we become angry, you know? But the thing is that you should focus on being grateful. Because when you focus on being grateful, then uh, you feel good, okay? You feel good. Now, are there things in your life now that you can be grateful about? Maybe, uh, you know, uh, your career, your business, your family, your health. Wow, there's so many things to be grateful for. In fact, you know, I believe that it's important that you, 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 you always think about things that you're grateful for. All right. Now, let me give you a few examples here. All right. Now, let's say if you walk on the street today, all right, and you come across a 10 cent coin, all right, you come a 10 cent coin on the street, all right? Now, what do you do? To a lot of people, it's, it's just 10 cent. So what they do is that, you know, you probably kick the 10 cent away and that's it and walk, you know, as if nothing happened. But the thing is that you are not a good receiver. If you are a good receiver, you will pick up the 10 cent and say that, oh, thank you for this 10 cent. Because I know that from this 10 cent, it's going to multiply into millions. Are you mean? That is the attitude of being grateful. When you're grateful, then you have the attitude of abundance as well. Alright? Now, most people may not pick it up, but you should pick it up and be grateful for it. So, for anything in your life that comes into you, happen for a reason, I believe that. Alright? Now, another example I'll give you, especially in Asian culture. You know, because of the way people are brought up and so on, you know, people feel very shy. So if let's say you you meet somebody, a, a girl, let's say, you know, you tell the girl, oh, you look beautiful today, fantastic. You know what most of the Asian uh, ladies will say, oh, not really, you know, not really. I mean, they are not good receiver, all right? Because why? You must be a good receiver because you say not really and so on. That means you are not a good receiver and more good things will not come into your life. You've got to be a good receiver. In fact, when people tell you, you know, oh, you look very handsome, you know, today, then I will tell them, you know, oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for your compliment. I agree with you 100%. And you look good as well. Compliment them back. All right. So be grateful and, you know, take charge of your life. Don't feel shy about things. Another good example, when, when people uh, compliment you, oh, you did a fantastic job, you know, uh, it was really good, you did a fantastic job. And some people say, oh, no, not really, like, I just did my best and so on. Come on, be grateful for it, all right? And tell people, no, oh, I, I really did a good job and I believe that, you know, I uh, deserve the compliment. That's it. Be a good receiver, all right? Not in terms of money or resources, but even in praise, all right? So be a good receiver, okay? Now, 
Now, when you are grateful and happy now, you will going to receive more in the future. All right. A lot of people, you know, they will be happy. Uh, grateful, they'll be happy only when they achieve what they wanted in life. Alright, let's say you want to uh, buy a, a, a expensive car. Alright, then you only become happy and grateful when you receive the car. But the truth is that if you want to receive the car at all, you got to be grateful now. You got to be happy now. Alright, because if you're not happy now, you're not grateful now, even when you receive the car, you will never, never be grateful or happy. Alright. I mean, put it this way, you know, when you uh, set a goal to ha have an expensive car, to own an expensive car, right? You may be happy when it happens, but how long will the happiness last? It won't last for long. All right, maybe for a week or so, that's all. After that, well, there's nothing to eat anymore. The feeling is gone. So, you can create your own happiness now. Feeling elevated emotion, all right? That's what's important. Elevated emotion of feeling of uh, gratitude, feeling of happiness, feeling of excitement, uh, feeling unlimited and so on. So it's also important right, to be grateful now and to be happy now rather than when you achieve the things. Okay. Now, I'm sure, you know, some of you may have heard me mention this a few times before. It's, I say that gratitude is the ultimate state of, uh, of receivership. That means through gratitude, you are receiving the things into your life. Alright, because when you're grateful, you're telling the universe that, you know, I'm happy with what I have now. And you say, well, if you're happy, I'll give you more. Alright, as simple as that. So basically, uh, it is so important to be a good, good receiver. Alright, whether it be a compliment or whether it be uh, 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 money, even 10 cents. Huh? Even if you go to the office tomorrow, you know, your, your employer tell you, oh, I'm going to give you a pay rise, $10. So what? You should be grateful as well because when you're grateful, things are going to happen in your life right and i believe that everything in life happens for a reason everything in life happens for a reason so you know it's always for your own good one all right so uh that's all i will share with you today i hope that you learned something here and if you like what you hear and see please feel free to uh to share to like and to comment and you know if you are on youtube subscribe to my channel and follow me as well so i thank you for your time here once again i know that you know uh uh it is uh, middle of the week and uh, a lot of people are busy having so many things, but you spend your time here. I thank you so much for that. All right. So I will see you tomorrow again for another uh, session of my video. And with that, this is Richard Quack here from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.